سام ليجون دي دايركتور اوف بارتنرشيبس سي فور سي نورث افريكا كورسيرا You have more than 17 years in the uh, experience in ED technical, working with organizations uh, like Discovery, Education, and so on. So uh, uh, my question is actually, uh, the, um, what about the importance of embedding technology to facilitate learning and supporting institution on their digital transformation uh, journey? Thank you very much, Professor. So um, over the past couple of decades, uh, the world has been changing at a very fast pace. I always find it funny when I tell my kids that uh, I'm older than Google. They find it fascinating, and uh, I find it funny. Um, and the pandemic has actually only accelerated the change. And unfortunately for the graduates, they're having to deal with an unprecedented, uh, unprecedented double disruption. If we don't want to be cheap labor for the foreseeable future, we need to invest now in our human capital, which is the most important resource any country could have. Uh, and I say this as a proud Arab and as a proud North African. Um, oh, oh, it's okay. Um, an issue that I constantly have to tackle in my day-to-day -day conversation with educational institutions is that a lot of people in our region still associate digital skills with IT and computer science. When we know that cutting edge skills and domains like machine learning, data science, and AI are becoming a driving force in almost all sectors from retail to service to construction and medicine. We can't afford to miss the mark and we need to access the right data, as Dr. Powell said, to make these decisions. A link between what the job market is looking for in real time and what educational institutions are equipping learners with. Um, oh, anyway, I have the presentation, but I'm just going to speak. Um, so according to the World Economic Forum, the, the, the fastest growing jobs for the next five years are going to be jobs like data scientists, machine learning specialists, and digital marketing. Microsoft actually estimates that the digital job capacity will grow from 51 million jobs currently to 190 million in the next five years. Obviously, as Coursera, we believe that diplomas are still the cornerstone of our education system and a huge part of getting learners to gain the right skills required for the job market. But diplomas alone are no longer sufficient. We keep hearing from employers that <clears throat> these need to be supplemented by international certificates that validate the in-demand skills that these graduates have gained along their journey. And as Dr. Dahlia, sorry, it's okay, it's too late. <laughs> um, and as Dr. Dahlia said, you know, the, the, the shelf life of skills, according to the latest study, range from two to three years for a, a, a tech skill to five years for an average skill. So. As Dr. Dahlia said, you know, for a student who's doing a three, four, or five year program, some of the stuff that they've learned in the first and second year are already outdated by the time they graduate. And I think this is where, um, <coughs> course, this is, where Coursera you, is uniquely positioned to sit at the intersection between learners, industry, government, and teaching institutions. I know a lot of people associate Coursera with a, uh, a platform that works with universities. Actually, Coursera started off as a consumer platform where anyone can go and acquire a, a course, complete it, pass it, and gain a certificate that validate their skills. But the whole idea of lifelong learning and the whole idea that companies are having to invest in their employees, that the days where you hired someone with a skill that lasted their whole career are long gone. So um, actually, a lot of the work we were doing was with businesses. But as an institution and as a company that was very much based on a skills first approach, we were seeing what skills were trending in the market in real time. And that's the kind of insight that we are able to bring to educational institutions to support them in making sure that they have access to that real data that both Dr. Powell and Dr. Dahlia spoke about so that whatever skills they're equipping their learners with are skills that the job market is looking for in real time today without having the delay that normally happens which ranges between one and five years in educational institutions 
Um, yeah, thank you very much.